Okay, this is a red sword tail that we're polyculturing uh, in this particular case with German red peacocks. Uh, these are some sample breeders. See, they're nice big fish. That's a big male. Interesting thing about uh, sword tails is that the gene that controls the size of the male is on the Y chromosome. Uh, Dr. Molly Miller, who is studying sword tails for some reason instead of Molly's, I think she missed a bet. She's at Ohio State, isn't she, Susan? Either Ohio University or Ohio State, I forget which. Uh, it does a lot of work on uh, with sword tails, and she says there are three alleles of a gene on the Y chromosome, and if a male inherits a Y chromosome with the small allele, he's small, does, never gets big. Then there's a medium-sized allele, and then there's a large allele. This male has a large allele, and so he's definitely one of our breeders. We always select the large males. All of his sons will be large like he is. Uh, there may be some minor differences in size, but they're going to be big fish uh, because the father determines what the son uh, decides that the sons get. Okay, I'm going to put these in, up with the uh, sword tails, uh, ex excuse me, with the German red peacocks. Uh, they uh, do surprisingly well with them, and I, <coughs> excuse me, I suspect that the few that get eaten simply uh, uh, contribute red pigment to uh, the peacocks. Uh, fish don't generate their own red uh, pigments. They have to pick them up from their diets. And uh, so uh, getting red pigments from these sword tails will help our, our peacocks, but we, uh, we still get quite a few good fish out of there. Okay, good sword tail keeping.